We start today with the FDA fully approving Pfizer's COVID vaccine. NBC News senior medical correspondent Dr. John Torres joining me now. Dr. John, this is the first COVID vaccine to get full approval. Can you explain the difference between emergency authorization and full authorization for the folks at home? What does this mean for them? And Allison, you bet, and like you're right, this is the first COVID vaccine to get full approval. And the difference there being, we have three vaccines right now that have the emergency authorization, the emergency use authorization, and that was given back December, January timeframe, a little after that. When they measured that, and when they looked at the data there, their main point was to make sure that it was safe and effective and it outweighed the dangers of COVID itself. And so it was a little bit more of a lenient process. They used two months worth of data to do it. They did make sure it was safe and effective, but it was a little faster faster than their normal approval process because we're in the middle of a pandemic, the middle of an emergency. Well, now fast forward to August and what they wanted are these companies to give them six months of data after their human trial volunteers ended up getting their vaccine. So Pfizer started submitting data back in May, submitted it through August and finally said, okay, now we've given you the data, go ahead and look at it. The FDA went through, crunched all the data, and they did a few things. Number one, make sure it's safe. Number two, make sure it's effective. But number three, they're also looking at the manufacturing plants, the factories, to make sure that those are up to snuff, that those, the quality of those factories and what they're putting out is sufficient. And they're going to make sure that these manufacturers follow patients for the next months and years to make sure it remains safe. The difference there, probably the big difference for people overall, is this is a permanent approval. This is something that doesn't just happen during the pandemic, but it's permanent. And like most other medications, you're going to see it being able to be ordered through your doctor's office, given to you at pharmacies like it is now, but even more so. And so it's going to be even advertised. They gave it a name, Alice, and it's Comirnaty, which we haven't had on, not had a name before, but that's the new name for it. Comirnaty. I can picture the commercials uh, on cable news <laughs> right now, right, with the long list of things to ask your doctor about those those uh, pharmaceutical commercials <laughs> exactly. we were bombarded with. So, Dr. John, the Pfizer vaccine only started rolling out last December. There are some concerns that this approval is happening a little bit too fast. Uh, here's the FDA's acting commissioner addressing that today. We want to underscore that our efforts to move as quickly as possible have in no way sacrificed scientific standards or the integrity of our process. Approving the vaccine as rapidly as possible while ensuring a rigorous and thorough review has been our top priority. Uh, what's your take, Dr. John? How would you explain this one to a concerned patient who thinks, man, that happened quick? Yeah, Allison, it's interesting. A few weeks ago, I actually had Dr. Peter Marks on my Doc to Doc series, and that's the gentleman you saw in the picture there. His job is to make sure these mm -hmm. vaccines are safe. His job is part of that division to make sure that they approve these appropriately. And what he told me is typically after they get all the paperwork and all the data, it typically takes them five months to fully approve it. And that's because it's a small department, small part of the FDA that does that, and they do it on their own time scale. Well, you said now because of the pandemic and the fact that they need these vaccines, they're putting all hands on deck. They ended up putting a lot of resources into getting this approved, and they wanted to do it safely, effectively, with the same standards they had before, but much faster by putting a lot more help in there, a lot more manpower in there. And that's what they did. And that's why they were able to do it in three months instead of five months. And so you're seeing here a faster approval process, but didn't cut any corners, didn't, didn't go shy in any safety measures, is the same as before, just had a lot more people looking at it. Dr. John, full approval also paves the way for more mandates. The Pentagon confirming today service, uh, service members rather will be required to get the COVID vaccine. Take a listen. Now that the Pfizer vaccine has been approved, the department is prepared to issue updated guidance requiring all service members to be vaccinated. New York City is doing the same for all of its school teachers and staff. Do you expect to see more institutions jumping on board here, and would you like them to? You know, I'm gonna, I think we are going to see more institutions jumping on board. After my 32 years in the military, where we had shots for just about anything, because on a moment's notice, you could go anywhere in the world and you need to be protected. That's the bottom right. line. Well, now we're here in a pandemic and everybody needs to be protected. And so a lot of these institutions, a lot of these organizations are saying now that it's approved, which is what we are waiting for, we can start mandating it because they've looked at it, they've vetted it, they've seen that it's safe and effective, and it's going to be here for a long time. So let's go ahead and get people vaccinated to get this pandemic more under control. I think you're going to see that move over to the civilian sector as well. You can see more organizations, more businesses start to mandate it to make sure that, number one, that their employees are safe, but also any
anybody that might be taken care of is safe as well. And that way, hopefully again, Allison, like we mentioned, yeah. the pandemic will get over sooner rather than later by getting more people vaccinated.